Hey, what's up and hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel for another video. If you're new here, my name's Kennedy. I'm a vintage curator and seller. And today I figured we would switch things up a little bit and talk about style bundles. If you follow me on my other socials, then you know that I do style bundles for people. Um, and I also do wholesale boxes and I like to do breakdowns over there. And I realized I've never done that here on YouTube. So today that's what we're doing. For those of you that don't know what a style bundle is, essentially it's when I become your own personal shopper. So this girl messaged me asking to do a style bundle. I said yes, and then I told her my pricing in the four different or the three different sizes that I have. Um, so I have a small one that's four pieces. I have a medium one that's six to eight, and then I also have a large one that's ten to twelve. She chose my biggest style bundle option, which was ten to twelve pieces. I said cool. Then we got into the nitty gritty. I had her be as detailed as possible. I told her to send me all of her sizing, but then also send me. Her her measurements because sometimes in vintage clothes the size you see on the tag is not how it fits anymore people used to be way smaller than they are now so a four back then it could easily be a size zero today so having those exact measurements it's going to ensure that whatever i find is actually going to fit her so i had her get really detailed about that but then i also had her tell me her dream like wish list pieces but also tell me everything that she doesn't like or doesn't want so if there's a certain jean silhouette that you don't like if you don't like skinny jeans let me know if you don't like velvet or something like that let me know i had her get as detailed as possible so i can make sure that she was going to be happy with her results and then i also had her go ahead and send me over like screenshots of outfits um likes from her depop i also had her just make a pinterest board for me so i just had stuff to reference to when i'm outsourcing um so she definitely told me her aesthetic and then she also backed it up with some photos so i could go ahead and find some of those exact pieces all right, so let's get into her specific details that she sent over to me, and then I will actually show you everything that I got for her. So first up, when I looked at her board and all the inspiration photos that she sent me, I could tell that she was going for like a 2000s McBling kind of blended in with the alternative like cyber grunge aesthetic. I know that was a lot of like little... I don't want to say trigger words, but like key words, you know, trendy words, but it'll make sense once I show you exactly what she's kind of looking for. Um, from there, she told me that she loves accessories, so I definitely wanted to make sure I focused on that. She currently does not have any skirts in her wardrobe, so she needed some of those, and then she was open to jeans as well. As far as color schemes go, um, I definitely saw a lot of pink and black and gray in a ton of bling, so I also was making sure that when I was outsourcing, I was keeping an eye out for that as well now like i said she chose the biggest bundle 10 to 12 pieces let's get into it i really like the tops that i picked out for her so let's start with those first up we have this long sleeve shirt let me get closer so you can see some of those details obviously the print is super sick but also it has a hook and eye closure like all the way down this shirt i've never seen that on a long sleeve before i thought that was super cool and then this is the back of it it's got the color scheme that she was looking for and it's definitely part of that like cyber grunge aesthetic this is the second top i'm throwing in there for her i love the ombre detail and i think the shoulder hit right there is super cute um is it really long yes yes it is but if you do your research on this aesthetic a lot of times they would wear these longer shirts like over mini skirts or some shorts um and they would actually sit like halfway down their butt and then from there they would throw on these like belts like one or two belts that are super blinged out and it just really works i don't know how it works but it works for them um so i think this actually fits the aesthetic really really well so this is the front and then here is the back i think the back hit is so cool i love it and the last shirt that I'm throwing in there is this little baby tee. It's by the brand Sinful, just like the last one was. So this is the front. And then this is the back. I think the fade on it is so, so good. And it's going to fit really cute. Since she said she currently doesn't have any skirts right now in her wardrobe, I figured I would give her three different variations. The first one is going to be our tried and true denim mini skirt. It goes with anything and everything. You know her. You love her. Everyone needs one of these. The second variation that I'm throwing in there for her is this plaid pleated one. Oh my god, that's a tongue twister. Um, I think the colorway is so perfect. It kind of reminds me of Avril Lavigne in her like heyday, like hey, hey, you, you, I don't like your girlfriend days, you know what I mean? Um, the colorway is perfect. I think when she styles it and really accessorizes it, it's going to be perfect for her. And the last variation I'm throwing in there is this little pink one. Now, when you see this, does it scream McBling? 
does it scream alternative and cyber grunge? No, it doesn't. It screams, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. I understand that. But she lives in Florida. And I think this would just be so fun in its lightweight for when it gets hot outside in the summer, okay? Think about wearing this over a cute little bikini. Now, does it work? Does it look cute? I think when styled correctly, it's gonna be perfect. Do you see these? I don't think you understand how excited I was to find these, okay? Not only for what they are, okay, because that, that's big in itself, but the fact that she had these on her board multiple times, I was like, I have to find them, okay? I have to find them. I was scouring every freaking pair of jeans. And the fact that when I found these, I took her measurements and they aligned with hers perfectly. I've never seen something so magical happen in my entire life right before my eyes. Look at them. They're beautiful. Let's get closer. This is what the back pockets look like. It does have that second button. Don't play with me. These are in like perfect condition. Um, but this is the back of them. And then the front has little rhinestones around the pockets as well. They've got that like 2000s little boot cut that we all know and love, okay? They're a little stretchy. I'm in love with these and I'm so stoked at that, at the fact that I found them for her, okay? She asked and I delivered, because that's what I do. Speaking of delivering, guess what else she had on her Pinterest board? She had a pair of Victoria's Secret pink yoga pants, okay? Two different variations. One was the ones that have like the spill out on the butt that we all know and love, okay? But she also had a pair of pink leopard print, maybe cheetah, I'm not really sure, pink animal print <laughs> leggings. And what did I find? The exact pair, look at them. In all their glory, the flare, it's perfect. This is what it looks like up close. Is this leopard print? What is this? What kind of animal is this? Is it reptile? Whatever, point is that she had these exact ones on her board and I found them. The jeans are perfect, these are perfect, but let's keep it going. As you can see, I'm getting more and more excited <laughs> about the pieces that I found because they are just matching so good. So, accessories. We have four in here. Um, so for a belt, she had a lot of belts that were like the really thick ones with all the rhinestones. She had some that have got like the pyramid studs on them. And then she also had grommet belts. Could I find those? Uh, no, I cannot, but I feel like the next best thing was this belt. She had a lot of skulls on her board, so this one's really cute, you know what I mean? It's got the cool seatbelt buckle situation. Oh my gosh, hello? There we go. I was like, did I break it? No, I didn't. But anyway, I think that's so fun. Got her this. Now let's get into the bags. Do you see what I see? She said she wanted some more accessories. She loves them. I think this one's so fun. Now, like I said, I couldn't find a grommet belt, but I found a grommet bag. That's gotta be a good close second. It just sits beautifully under the shoulder. We love that. Let's slam dunk this thing. Let's just really bring it home so you know how i said if she asks i deliver guess what she had on her board juicy couture bag so what did i find a juicy couture bag Ooh. yeah yes i did she had a different silhouette on her board but honestly i don't think she's going to be upset about this one it's literally in like brand new condition even the white is pristine like untouched this is the inside. Again, beautiful. It's even got the J in there. It's not letting me show you, but it does have like, oh, there it is. The J for the pocket. Look how cute that is. Again, oh. <laughs> Again, just sits perfectly like right on your shoulder. What I tell you? What I tell you? Ask and I will deliver. Oh. Do not need a lip, uh, to litter. Um, anyway, I'm so stoked about this. 
We're gonna look at her. And the last thing that I'm throwing in there are a little pair of sunnies. Now, do they match the like McBling sunnies? No, they don't. Okay, do they match the alternative kind of sunnies? No, because I feel like those are bigger and darker. Um, but she does live in Florida, and I feel like when you live in Florida, you can't have too many sunglasses. So I'm throwing in these. They're definitely that like 90s, 2000s look. I think they're so fun. I don't think they really look good on me personally, um, but I'll try them on so you guys have the vision, the vibe. You know what I mean? Like at the beach, perfection. And that was everything that I gave this girl for her style bundle. I think me personally, I nailed it. Am I a little biased? Yes, obviously, because I put it together and I'm really proud of it. Um, but you guys let me know how you think I did in the comments. Um, what did she want? Let's go over it together. She wanted accessories. I gave her accessories. She wanted mini skirts. I said, here's three. She wanted a pair of jeans. I said, there you go, no problem. Um, we got the baby tees. What What else? The bling, check. What else? Um, pink and black, check. 10 to 12 items, check. Um, I think she's gonna be really happy with this. I will post her reaction right after I finish this little clip right here. Um, but I already know she's gonna love it. Like I said, you guys let me know in the comments how you think I did. If you were confused earlier on what a style model was, hopefully it makes more sense now. I do have another one I'm almost done with, so I will also be throwing it in this video. So hang tight, maybe like 10 seconds for you. Um, <laughs> and I will show you guys the next one. That one is for my bestie. We are four lifers. And she said that she needs a wardrobe overhaul. She's starting from square one. So that one in particular is well over 20 pieces. So buckle up, okay? Go grab your snack right now, pause the video, grab your snack, and then come back because we're gonna get into it. Hello, friends. I finally finished that other bundle I was talking about and it's time to go through it. It's been like five seconds for you. It's been like two weeks for me-ish, um, but I am so happy with how this one came out. It's for a very special person. It's for my best friend, Kendall. She reached out to me in like November and she was like, hey girl, you know I love you. Um, can I get one of those style bundles? And I said, absolutely. Of course you can, okay? Um, and she told me that she was going for like a complete closet refresh. She wanted to switch to a dark academia aesthetic, okay? And I've seen it. I had an idea of what it was. But like, I really had to do my research to kind of figure out what I wanted to give her because we were doing a complete closet refresh. So naturally I had to figure out what were the staples for this aesthetic. Um, what were those like pillars? So I'm talking blazers, slacks, sweaters, cardigans, um, plaid, all that kind of stuff that you would think of when you're thinking school. But I wanted to make sure it felt like mature and kind of sexy, you know what I mean? So this is everything that I picked up for her. I know it's a lot, but it's a closet refresh, okay? And if you're doing a closet refresh, you're getting rid of just about everything and replacing it with a completely new wardrobe. And I wanted to make that super easy and brainless for her um, because she is my best friend, okay? I had to go all out for her. So we have a couple of pants in different colors. Um, same thing with sweaters, a couple different blazers. You know the vibes. And then I did throw in a couple rogue pieces. And when I say that, I just mean they're not exactly what you would think of when you think of academia. But I feel like when styled correctly, they could be a fun little twist to the aesthetic. So she can still have fun with it while also being serious and scholarly. You know what I mean? But enough talking. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. Naturally, the first thing I have to show you is a plaid mini skirt. I love how it looks like a skirt from the front and then in the back, it's completely pleated. How cute of a detail is that? It was definitely someone's old school uniform, but I'm here for it. I think that just adds to the authenticity of it all. Um, and it does look like it's kind of long for a mini skirt, but let's be honest, it was likely a school uniform and it can't be that short, but also I'm only 5'2", okay? She's 5'8", so where it sits on me is gonna sit very differently on her. She's got long legs. It's gonna sit at a really cute and fun and flirty length, so I'm not even worried about it. The next piece that I'm throwing in there for her is this long line blazer. It's by Lauren by Ralph Lauren, so you know the quality's there. It's 95% wool, so even though it's lightweight, it's definitely gonna keep her warm, um, and it's black, so it's honestly gonna go with anything and everything, but I feel like something like this, you can easily just throw on 
to the most simple outfit and take it from like just 90s casual to academia. So imagine like a pair of jeans like I'm wearing, a white t-shirt, let her throw on a pair of loafers, let her put on her glasses, suddenly academia while still being casual. Do you see the vision? Naturally, I had to throw in a couple vests. One, because I like them, but also I think they're just a staple in this aesthetic. So this is the first one I'm showing off. I love how it's kind of color blocked. So it's got kind of a suit material on the front and then in the back, it is black. Here's a close up on that. I love the kind of asymmetrical little cut here, the singular button closure. I think this is really cute. Another staple to this aesthetic is a turtleneck. This one's black, it's 100% wool, um, it's vintage. Again, I was trying to get for really quality pieces that will last in her closet for a lifetime. So even if she does decide to switch aesthetics again, pieces like this could stay in her wardrobe over and over and over again. So I did get her this one. It's super soft, cozy. I wanted to keep it for myself, but I have to give it to my girl. We have another plaid skirt in the mix. This one's obviously a little bit of a different print. It's also a different length. Um, I wanted to give her those variations, but I love how you can already see her closet coming together, okay? I've only shown you like five pieces, but this could easily match with this turtleneck, and that's half a fit already. All you really need to do is maybe find a jacket, put on some shoes, and you're ready to go. See how easy that is already? That's really what I wanted to do for her. The second vest that I'm giving her, I love the fact that this one, again, is the neutral color, so it's going to match with the stuff I already have picked out for her, but it also has a corduroy collar. It's wool. I love the pockets on the front. This is borderlining like equestrian, but I feel like it all kind of falls under that same umbrella. Next piece is this cashmere sweater. It's vintage by Land's End, so you know the quality is there. It's super soft. This is definitely something that could stay in her wardrobe forever if she wanted it to and it's in a really good neutral color so it's going to match with everything that i'm giving her another sweater this one's not cashmere but it is wool it's vintage i love the colorway of this and you can't have academia without having some kind of argyle in there so i had to get this for her She wanted some jewel tones, so when I saw this, I said, oh, you're coming home with me. You're perfect for her. So I did pick this up. It's just a classic little silk button-up. I know this piece doesn't look like much, but it's an off-the-shoulder sweater and doesn't really give academia. No, not necessarily, but it's that neutral colorway that she was looking for. And I honestly think if she wore this with some slacks, and like some ballet flats or loafers you could give academia while still having fun with it like i feel like this aesthetic can get so serious and a simple piece like this can kind of change the game a little bit and let you have fun with the items you have in your wardrobe so i did want to give her this and i have a couple other like wild card pieces that we'll get to in a second by now you're starting to see what i was talking about where i said i was giving her a bunch of different variations of items i showed you at the very beginning a long line black blazer that can go with everything now we have a shorter one that's a statement blazer so she could wear more of a basic outfit and then throw this on for a little pizzazz so we have this we have a cable knit sweater vest i just love the colorway of this one it looks like a really pretty blue, but then you get up closer and it's actually got quite a few different colors kind of woven in there to make it more fun when it comes to matching. Throwing in this little v-neck long sleeve shirt. I know it looks super tiny, but it's like a ribbed, really stretchy material. So I think it's going to make her look super snatched. Another one of my wild card pieces, this little baby doll jacket. Look how cute the silhouette of that is. It's plaid, so I feel like that still plays into the academia that she's looking for. But I honestly feel like if she wore this top with just the one button like it is right now, some of those slacks and either like a boot, a cute little sneaker, a loafer, you could get the academia out of that. So I want her to play with her style a little bit. And so I'm throwing this one in for her. This is the back. I love how it has some pleating back there. So cute. I realize I keep talking about pants, but I haven't shown you guys a single pair that I got for her. I did get three different pairs, and this was honestly the hardest part of this entire experience, okay? But it was such a good challenge because we are built so differently. She, on the other hand, is built like this, okay? She is a woman. 
her waist to hip ratio is okay girls dream of having this kind of ratio me on the other hand I i'm built like a door no hips no hips my waist to hip ratio about the same okay broad shoulders decent sized waist but like where are the hips non-existent okay i'm definitely giving 12 year old boy i've come to love myself this is not body shaming but having to shop for this when you're used to being built like this wildly different experience okay both difficult in their own ways i'm moving you down here for a second i look so crazy like this <laughs> i'm moving you down here for a second so you can actually see the pants as i'm showing them the first pair that i'm giving her is this wide leg pair of slacks they're gray and they're stunning okay i personally love a good wide leg pair of pants i think these look good on a bunch of different body types so i did get her these and she's 5'8", so they are swallowing me, but I think on her personally, they're gonna fit her perfectly. So I did get her these. They're good, slouchy, little slack, and I love that. Next pair that I'm giving her are these like brown striped pair, little pinstripe pair. They come pre-cuffed. Again, kind of that like slouchy fit. They're long on me, which means they're going to be perfect on her. <laughs> um, but again, just a cozy pair of slacks, nothing too form fitting. So she'd easily like sit down, eat, relax, do a bunch of studying, whatever else in these and still be comfortable. The last pair I have to show you guys is the wild card pair. Okay. As you can see from afar, they just look like a dark pair of pants. They're kind of a velvety material, okay? But as we get closer, look at that. They're such a fun paisley print. I recently got a pair for myself, and every time I wear them, I get so many compliments on them because like I said, from afar, they just look like a plain pair of pants. But as you get closer and it hits certain light, it's a fun little statement piece, and I love that. Okay, it's kind of like a now you see me, now you don't. Okay, a little surprise, and I love that. Um, these are more of like a straight leg pant rather than like the slouchy wide leg pant that I got for her on those other two pieces. I wanted to switch it up a little bit, so I got her these. They're Lauren by Ralph Lauren. They're kind of a velvety material, and I love the closure here. So it doesn't really have like a waistband. It just has these two little buttons right here and no butt pockets, so you know what that means um but yeah i got her these these are going to be more fitted they fit her measurements so hopefully they look good and they're also they've got some stretch to them because they're more of like a 2000s rather than like a true vintage pair so she's got some wiggle room if she needs it but these with a pair of boots and the blazer little plain shirt perfect I'm getting really tired playing show and tell. <laughs> this is taking me so long to record. Um, but I have two more clothing pieces and then we'll get into accessories. You see it, okay? It's a leather jacket, but not just any leather jacket. It's a leather blazer. And not just any leather blazer, it's by Wilson's Leather. I love this brand and I love leather jackets more than anything. My collection is bonkers so i did decide to go ahead and let go of one of my leather blazers and give it to her is it technically academia i don't i don't know but it is dark and it is a blazer so in my head it works so i got her this took it right out of my personal wardrobe it's now a sisterhood of the traveling leather jacket and she loves mushrooms guys she just loves them so i found this at goodwill i don't know who did this and then donated it but look how cute that is. Someone like bleach dyed this sweatshirt. I think she's going to just find this so cozy and adorable. Obviously not for her aesthetic, but it just speaks speaks to me about that girl. So I did care of this one. This honestly will probably be one of her favorite pieces out of everything that I'm doing to refresh her closet. I just have a feeling this is gonna be her favorite piece. All right, let's talk accessories. Obviously we have to have some belts. So I'm giving her one black one and one brown one. Does she likely have a belt already? Probably, but does it hurt to have another one? I don't think so. Um, so the first one is this one. It's black with silver hardware. 
just a classic, nothing crazy. And then I'm also giving her this brown one. I love the contrast stitching and I love the more rounded buckle. So she's also getting this one. And for bags, I'm throwing in two bags, both leather. The first one is this brown vintage little backpack for her more casual days, but it's still on brand for her aesthetic. And the very last piece I'm throwing in there is this cute little messenger bag moment. You can wear it as a crossbody because it has a long strap or you can detach that and just carry it around like a mini briefcase. I think it's so cute and so vintage. There are so many pockets in here. I think I couldn't have found anything more perfect. Like, look at the quality of that. I love. Woo! So that was everything that I got for her. I know that was a lot. I'm sure you guys are just as tired as I am of hearing my own voice at this point but I did get her a lot of stuff. We were doing a closet refresh and I definitely think she's refreshed at this point. I wanted to give her so much more. There were so many other pieces I was looking for, but I was like, girl, it's been three and a half months already. She's gonna be so appreciative. We're just supposed to be giving her a foundation. We're not supposed to be giving her an entire wardrobe. We are just laying down the foundation for her, okay? I had to remind myself of that. So I'm finally letting this go. I'm shipping it out today. I love everything that I gave to her. I think it's gonna fit her perfectly. I love everything that I gave the first girl. I also think that fit her aesthetic perfectly. But you guys let me know down below in the comments which one you thought I did better. Would you be open to doing a style bundle? Is this something you'd be interested in? Let me know. Let's chit chat down below. Um, but I have got to go ship this out and then take a nap. So I will see you guys next week. Duh, I don't know what we're doing next week, but I will see you then. I love you guys so much. Subscribe if you want already. Let me know in the comments if you want me to continue to do these like style bundle breakdowns. I can definitely try to condense some more because I feel like I talked a lot for both segments of this. But let me know down, down below if you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.